Gray hair is often a sign of aging, but did you know that there are several other surprising reasons why your hair might turn gray? In this video, we're going to explore the various causes of gray hair beyond just getting older. Understanding these causes can help you address the root of the problem and potentially slow down the graying process. Most people believe gray hair is inevitable with age, but the truth is, by addressing these underlying factors, you might be able to prevent or delay it. So, if you're curious about why your hair is turning gray and want to know how to slow it down, stick around till the end, because we'll also be sharing some tips that might help you maintain your hair's natural color longer. Before we begin, please give this video a like, share it to someone you know who could benefit from it, and subscribe to our channel for more health topics like this. Genetics. Let's start with the obvious. If your parents or grandparents turned gray at an early age, you're likely to experience the same thing. Your DNA largely determines when you'll lose pigment in your hair. However, genetics is just one piece of the puzzle, and there's much more going on beneath the surface. Stress. Stress is often blamed for turning hair gray, and there's some truth to it. High stress levels lead to the release of hormones like cortisol, which can damage melanocytes, the cells responsible for producing hair pigment. Studies have shown that prolonged stress might cause hair to lose its color faster than normal. So managing your stress isn't just good for your mental health, it might save your hair color too. Nutritional deficiencies. Another big factor is nutritional deficiencies. If you're lacking in certain vitamins and minerals, your hair might start graying earlier than expected. The most common culprits are vitamin B12. This vitamin is crucial for maintaining healthy red blood cells and hair pigmentation. A lack of B12 can lead to early graying and even hair loss. Foods rich in B12 include animal liver and kidneys, fish like salmon, tuna and sardines, beef and chicken, dairy products such as milk, cheese and yogurt, eggs and fortified cereals. Copper. Copper plays a key role in the production of melanin, the pigment that gives hair its color. A deficiency in copper can lead to graying. So include foods like oysters, clams and crabs, nuts and seeds, especially cashews, almonds and sunflower seeds, dark leafy greens such as spinach and kale, beans and lentils, and whole grains like quinoa and oats. Iron. Iron is vital for healthy blood circulation and delivering oxygen to hair follicles. A deficiency in iron can weaken hair follicles, leading to early graying. Foods rich in iron include meat, poultry, seafood, especially clams, oysters, and mussels, spinach, and other dark leafy greens, lentils, chickpeas, and beans. Smoking. Did you know that smoking can cause your hair to gray faster? Studies have found that smokers are 2.5 times more likely to develop premature gray hair compared to non-smokers. The toxins in cigarettes increase oxidative stress, damaging hair follicles and accelerating the aging process in your hair. Thyroid disorders. If you've noticed your hair turning gray in your 20s or 30s, it could be linked to thyroid disorders. Both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can interfere with pigment production, causing premature graying. Autoimmune diseases. Certain autoimmune conditions like vitiligo and alopecia areata can also cause your hair to lose its color. These diseases attack pigment-producing cells, leading to patches of gray or white hair. If you're experiencing uneven graying, it could be a sign of one of these conditions. Oxidative stress and environmental factors. Free radicals from pollution, UV exposure, and even processed foods can damage melanocytes over time, leading to graying. If you're looking to slow down the graying process, it's essential to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Manage your stress, make sure your diet is rich in vitamins and minerals, and avoid harmful habits like smoking. And for those of you dealing with thyroid or autoimmune issues, getting proper medical treatment can make a big difference.